So you're probably asking yourself, why is he showing us a quarter? Well, stick around and you'll find out. Hey, what's happening guys? I have something I think is really cool today. We're going to take a look at this is from icstation.com and it is item number 11736. And IC Station has kindly provided this for our consideration free of charge. What this here is is called the Beetle. This is an Arduino compatible board using the 32U4, the same uh, chip that's on the Leonardo, the Pro Micro. It's uh, what, 16 megahertz. Uh, this is a five volt version. Um, there's a quarter for comparison, okay? That is tiny. And you can see it has the built-in connectors right here. So you can just plug that in to a USB port. All right, let's take a look at this on IC Station's webpage. Okay, here it is on icstation.com's webpage. The CJMCU Beetle. I like that name. USB at Mega 32U4 Mini Development Board. Module for name, blah, blah, blah. Now it is a little bit pricey at $10. But if you have a need for an extremely small board, I don't think it's a problem. So again, the microcontroller is the Atmega 32U4. And it's 16 megahertz. And it's a 5 volt, 5 volt DC logic level chip. 10 I.O. pins, 4 PWM channels, 5 analog. I mean, everything else you can just read down there. But I like it so far. We think we can really have some fun with this guy. So here are our pins. We have master in, master out, S clock, reset, ground, 5 volts. Analog 0, analog 1, analog 2. Those are so hard to see. I think it says digital 11, digital 10, digital 9. SCL, SDA, TX, and RX. Now, the one question that I do have, you see we have master in, master out, clock, but there's no chip select, no load for um, doing SPI, so I'm not quite certain about that. we got an LED there. We've got our oscillator here. nothing on the back so this is going to be fun for incredibly tiny projects I mean if you need something really small and we're gonna measure the power usage on this here in a few minutes but what's really nice is it has that built-in hid interface so this can use the built-in Arduino keyboard and mouse libraries and you know what that means Look at how small this is. You can whack this in somebody's computer and play some serious pranks. But I certainly wouldn't recommend doing that. That would be wrong. All right, what do you say we see what kind of power consumption uh, this little board's taken? I tried to measure it with both of my USB power meters and uh, it was no bueno. So we're going to go old school. I've got a uh, 
5 volt wall wart. It's actually putting out 5.1 volts. And I'm going to plug it into the 5 volt pin here. And I got the ground hooked up. We got the meter hooked up as an ammeter. So let's, uh, let's connect it here. And what I've got running is just a blank sketch. So this is just the board powered up. It's not doing anything. And we're looking at 35 milliamps at 5.1 volts, about uh, somewhere around 20 milliwatts, right? Just out of my head. All right, I'm going to load a new sketch in it. It's going to light the LED, and we'll see the power consumption from that. New sketch is loaded. Let's power it up. Forty-four milliwatt. I mean, forty-four milliamps at five point one. What twenty-two, twenty-three milliwatts, somewhere in that area. Uh, let's try one more driving something. In this example, I've got uh, an active piezo speaker hooked up to pin D eleven, and it's just going to turn it on. So let's do this real quick. So 53 milliamps of 5.1 volt, 27, 28 milliwatts. That's uh, that's pretty impressive so far. I'm gonna do one last check just to see how it handles um, a standard library. Well, if you're wondering why I soldered those pins in, it's because the board isn't particularly breadboard friendly. With this row of the uh, analog and digital I.O. pins here along the back, it's, yeah. So I tried to run the BMP library. And it wouldn't work, and I'm I was, I'm pretty sure it was just a just a bad connection. So I soldered in these pins, and we will try it again in this configuration. Okay, I think my BMP 280 module is bad. This is the uh, TM1637 four-digit display. Let's uh, let's power this guy up, and it's going through its little demo program here. And you can see that it is uh, working quite well. So this isn't the most mainstream of libraries, which is a good thing because that shows us, of course, that it works with a non-mainstream type library. I wish the board itself was more breadboard friendly, but if you just put the DIO pins on the top and your other pins on the bottom, it will mostly work. So final impressions. I like the size of the board. I like that they've used the uh, 32U4 with the HID 2.0 so that you can plug this into a computer and it will input mouse or keyboard commands. I don't like the layout. I mean, I understand there's no other way it could have been done, but um, yeah, very interesting. So thank you to icstation.com for sending this to us, and a thank you to all of my patrons for your incredible support. That's it. I'm out. Peace.